What's going on, y'all? It is Monday, February the 6th. Pops and I are back in the shop. Hey! And we are about to work on Kelly Davis's Impressive. He brought it back to us. This is the car that we done the tabs on. This is the car that we replaced the four link brackets on. And uh, I'll turn the camera around here so y'all can see it. The body looks real good. Uh, body's by Eli. He done the body on this car. He remember y'all in the pr prior video, he done the white car of Blake Hens. And uh, I'll show y'all the car. Well, there's the impressive. And it looks pretty impressive. It is sharp. Kelly has good colors with the purple and the, I'm pretty sure it's neon yellow. It looks pretty good. Got our logo on there for us. We appreciate that. And she is sharp. What we're gonna be doing is, uh, that's his back bumper hanging up there on the wall. He brought it to us last time. We're gonna get it fixed and put back on here, straighten it up a little bit. Uh, it broke the tubing off the back of the chassis. So we're gonna fix all that tubing, get the rear bumper back on. And then y'all remember when we done the four link brackets, we put the tabs on for the door bar and now we can build the door bar to the door and uh, get that buttoned up. And then he brought his front bumper and this car had a real short nose on it before and Eli extended it. And uh, we've got to extend the bumper brackets under the nose so we can hang the bumper back on and get it hung back on there. And then Kelly had to replace uh, his center link and stuff, tie rods and everything. So we're gonna go through and set everything, make sure everything's tight, check his toes, set his toe for him. And we're just kind of gonna nut and bolt check the whole car, the rear end, everything. And uh, while we got it up on jack stands, we'll just run through it, make sure everything's tight. And he'll be good to go. He leaves here when we get done and then they're gonna carry it and put it on scales. And after they put it on the scales and double check everything, He'll be ready to race. So that's what we're working on now. We're gonna get busy on the impressive. Y'all hang out with us. What's going on, y'all? It's Tuesday, February 7th. And Pops and I are in the shop. Oh, hey, Pops. <laughs> Glad you're watching. And we about to, uh, we about to get busy on this impressive. We didn't do much last night. We kind of just looked at it, done some measuring, got an idea of what we want to do. But tonight we're gonna hit it hard. We're gonna get this thing knocked out past couple of days or next couple of days. My mind is gone, y'all. But we're going to get busy. We're going to get busy doing the door bar. We're going to get busy fixing the rear bumper. That'll be the two easy parts. And then this front part, uh, they extended the nose. So we've got to uh, extend the, the brackets for the bumper and get the bumper where it needs to be. And then uh, it shouldn't be too bad because this whole nose comes off as one. So it shouldn't be too bad. But then uh, we're going to go through the front suspension. And uh, there's a couple of things we've already noticed. Uh, the toe and stuff is out a little bit. We're going to tighten everything up, square the front end up, set toe, check caster camera, all that stuff, and just kind of nut and bolt check the whole car. So y'all hang out with us. We're going to get this thing jacked up, get it in the air, get started making a door bar. We're going to knock it out first. Y'all hang out with us. So the way we do door bars is not rocket science, <laughs> but I'll show how we do them. We got some round tube here. It's some tubing we had laying over here in the corner. We use these half inch tab or they got a half inch hole in them. These are like pretty much a seat belt tab because they're pretty thick. These are quarter inch or three sixteenths. But I just slot the end of the tubing, slide these tabs up in the end, weld it on, and then this end gets welded to the uh, inch and a half tube and we're going to use it as a door bar so it's not rocket science i just finished the last one notching the last one now i'm about to weld all these up and we'll get all these welded up and then uh we'll get them bolted on the car loosely and then i'll stick the inch and a half under there where i want it 
raise these up, tack them on, and then weld them on and dual bar be done. Y'all hang out with us. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do some real time while I weld these up. That way if I mess up and burn through that tube or anything, y'all get to see me mess up. <laughs> I figured I'd do it real time. Be pretty neat. Be pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, I got two of these. Okay, I'm gonna use two of those. Okay. And there's that. That's all I do is just weld them in. Alright, yeah. Hang on. magically put that car together with that. Yeah. Got a race this weekend. I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. If anyone watching is close to Alabama, North Alabama. Holton Speedway will be the place to be Saturday. Winter freeze. And there's that. Now, let's spin y'all around here. Get y'all dizzy. Get my tripod moved here. Zoom back out. There we go. Now we got our inch and a half tubing laying there on the floor. And uh, we'll bolt these pieces on here in a minute after they cool off a little bit. Stick that piece of inch and a half up in there, tack these on and bolt them in. We'll be good to go. Y'all hang out. y'all 
And there we have a dual bar. If y'all remember when we done these full bar brackets last time on this car, we actually welded on those tabs for the dual bar in preparation for it. Now, I cut that off a little bit. It was way out here, so I cut it back here just to shorten it up a little bit. Inch and a half tubing, half inch tubing. That's actually a little bit thicker, half inch. We were at a five eight, so we gotta get some more of that for sure. Well, there's a door bar. We are done with that. We can tighten up our bolts on it and uh, put the door back on. she is with the door back on kind of give y'all an idea we make uh we make them about an inch inch and a half off the door give the door flex for the arrow it go in and bump that door bar but the door bar is safe somebody runs into it so pops just pulled the back bumper down we're about to get busy getting it straightened out all right y'all so we were looking at this bump we were looking at this bumper and those, the, actually the welds aren't cracked except for on one little weld. My camera's moving here. So we're gonna heat it up and just bend it back out and straighten it up and uh, just help Kelly out a little bit. Keep him having to spend money on new tubing. And uh, he asked if we could fix that one. So that's what we're gonna do is try to fix it. So Pops is gonna heat it up. I'm gonna grab a piece of inch and three quarter tubing. We'll stick on there, stick on that leg right there, and then we'll just pull it back out. Hey, you're gonna All right. We'll swap it on into the bottom. Y'all probably wondering why we aren't using our big torps. That's because we are out of oxygen. So we're using these little ones. Yeah. 
Pretty close. Put that tube off over there, so it ain't gonna matter. We gotta put a piece of tube on the yeah. other one. We gotta flatten that out, don't we? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I didn't see tabs where it was bolted on. Oh, I didn't see one. I didn't see them. See them? I see them. All right. They kind of take it out and I hold it up where, yeah. from that end, and you can touch the hammer. That's how we straighten that up, y'all. I'm going to re-weld some of the welds on this end here because they were cracked. So we're going to straighten this up first, this little break. We'll get that flattened out. And then uh, I'll kind of grind off that little bit and weld it up. A little bit on there a little bent too but we may have to straighten them up a little bit pretty sure that's going to have to be bent that may have to be bent this way toward yeah. me yeah toward me because okay. okay. this one looks all right okay. it actually looks like they drilled another hole in it <laughs> Grind. I put the camera right over it, right over the extension cord. There we go. Sorry, y'all. How you get my right? Hey, put 
move it down a little bit. Oh, it's right there. Just turn. Yeah, right here. And put him on the back side. We need it. That one looks pretty good, other than right here. What about that spot? Right but there? it actually looks like it. Uh, yeah. It actually looks like it just wouldn't burn any good from the beginning.
There it is, folks. Sorry, I turned off the time lapse in the video, and my phone is about to die. So, I'm working on. Um, I have a Hero Eight GoPro. It's a little bit older, but it's it's very new. It's only been used once. We took it on vacation one time, so I'm working on that. Also, this weekend at Molten, I will probably have that GoPro in Mike Hen's car for the Winter Freeze race at Molten Speedway. We're gonna be up there with him just uh for help in the pits and support so we got the bumper on and we had to drill some new holes and there's plenty of tubing in there and i got that welded on we had to drill some new holes just because to get this even we like things to be even so it's on there straight uh the braces are bolted up underneath to their tabs they got new bolts and everything so that's going to be that on the back bumper and we got the door bar done. Y'all seen all that? So what we like now is extending the brackets for the front bumper. Now we probably won't get into that tonight. Uh, what we've got to do is y'all can see the car is scooted that way pretty good bit because we were wanted the room to work on this door bar. Tomorrow we'll let it down. We'll put it on uh, jacks and slide it over this way a little bit. Get the car more centered in the shop. And uh, we'll work on pulling that nose off actually probably get up under it first with the nose on it test fit the bumper and see how far out we have to go with the brackets and once we figure that out we'll pull that nose off and get busy making the bumper bracket what's going on y'all it is wednesday i don't even know what day it is, is it today the eighth eighth the seventh eighth something like it but anyway it's wednesday evening don't tell it's dark outside so we got in from work a little while ago we got some supper eight and me and pops back in the shop 
what we're going what we're going to do is we done uh took the jack stands out from under this side that were where we had it jacked up working on the door bar and uh we're going to work on getting this thing scooted over a little bit give us a little more room around his nose right here and we're going to work on getting that front bumper mounted uh i'll flip y'all around and show you a couple of things we've noticed just by visually looking and uh we've talked to kelly about it and there's some stuff that we're going to have to put a hold on before we we fit, actually fix it so y'all hang out with us all right so first thing that me and pops noticed last night if anyone has looked at a pinto spindle i'll try to get the ball joints you can see that spindle is bent those ball joints do not line up at all so we noticed that last night and uh kelly's gonna have to get him a spindle before we can set caster and camber that way we can set it once and set it right and uh he's gonna work on getting one he don't plan on racing till march that's what he told me today so that's when our local track north alabama speedway opens up and uh so he's not he's not in a hurry he's not following any series or anything he's gonna run local so that'll give him time to get a spindle and then we can work on helping him get that taken care of but for tonight what we can do is get this front bumper right here and get it mounted on this car. We've got to redo uh, the mounts and slide that bumper forward like we talked about last night. Well, right now we're gonna work on getting the car that way. That way we have more room to work right here because we have got to clean up the shop a little bit. We've got to take our trash out. So y'all hang out with us. We're gonna do a little bumper work here, a little bit of mount work. And uh, we're gonna check a couple of things while we do have the car here and uh nut and bolt check some stuff and uh then we'll be done with it for now <laughs> until he gets a spindle and then uh we'll get all that set y'all hang out with us appreciate y'all watching y'all what we were measuring we had to get the car level as y'all seen we were getting a i had to i had to lower my jack stand over here to get the car level and we threw that level up there on the roof on these bars and then i measured underneath the car sitting level and the nose has four inches of rake in it so what we're going to do is we're going to put the front bumper on level with the car and just let the rake be in the nose we think it would look better that way instead of raking the bumper It'll look kind of funky sitting still, so we're gonna put the bumper on level, and that way it'll look better when it's sitting in the pits or pictures or whatever. So that's what we were trying to figure out. Now we're gonna get busy. We're gonna take his nose off. We know how far we gotta come out. So we're gonna add some tubing. So we're gonna take some round tubing and put little standoffs, and then weld our angle iron to the back of that. And uh, we'll be good to go. So Y'all hang tight. So this is what we got. This is what we've been working on. We got our measurements and we have to be four and a half inches in front of the frame horn where the old brackets used to be to the flat side of the frame horn. They're actually cut off out of the way. So we made these brackets out of angle iron. We got our bolt pattern. We got them labeled. And what we're gonna do, is we got these pieces here cut three and a half inches because our holes are one inch from the back of that plate to the center. We're going to weld one on top and one on bottom. We're going to weld that to the frame horn. And that'll be a bumper bracket. So that's what we've been working on. Pops just got all that cleaned up where I cut those with a sawzall. Now we'll get those welded up and we'll get them welded on the car. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to get this bumper mounted here in a little bit. All right, y'all. So what we had to do was we were off on our guessing our height 
to get in order to get the height of the bumper to get it level all the way across and to stay up on the sheet metal and bolt through the sheet metal and get above that plastic valence we had to be up pretty good bit so we were only able to use one of our round tubing so we welded it to the frame horn and then we took some square tubing it made an angle brace to the back of the bracket on both sides <coughs> and then that's our bumper brackets so we'll let that cool off a minute then we'll stick the nose on there make sure it fits and uh, over the well we know the nose will fit over it we've got our brackets even with the frame horn so the body was built to that so we'll make sure the bumper works and then we'll uh we'll have to drill through our bracket from the underside out our sheet metal so we can bolt the bumper on bumper on bumper on <laughs> and then we'll be good to go so y'all hang out with us all right y'all well there we have it we have a bumper on an impressive our brackets worked out good everything bolted up and she is stout well that's gonna be a wrap on the impressive for now until we get some more parts kelly brings us a uh, spindle and stuff like i said he's not gonna race till march and uh, that way it'll give him time to replace a couple of things and then we can set camber and caster and check all that when he gets his parts in so for now the fab work is done for now the impressive is done and we can't thank y'all enough for watching thank y'all for hanging out with us like comment subscribe appreciate y'all sharing our videos we're almost up to 300 subscribers so we're we're slowly making headway in the dirt racing world on youtube and we appreciate that we couldn't do it without everybody watching these videos so y'all hang out with us we got some big news coming for our car uh some big stuff we'll make an announcement on we may have some visitors in a couple of days so one we'll, we'll, we'll do a video on all that but we got some big stuff coming for our car and we'll be able to get back on it and uh get busy we this is going to be the last project for a little while uh, unless we get something else in here <laughs> so if let somebody else call yeah let somebody else call well we got micah's car when he gets the body done yeah. on it we gotta do door bars oh. and stuff in it so that's gonna be another bumper job another door bar job so and uh again micah he's a he's a local guy he's lives just a couple miles up the road he also runs open wheel modified and uh eli bodies by eli is also doing his body so eli's knocking these things out and uh, we're apparently door bar guys, so <laughs> we don't mind though. You know, we don't mind helping everybody out. No. It just uh, gives us something to do while we wait on stuff for our car. So we love tinkering on these things. But again, we thank y'all. Can't thank y'all enough. We appreciate it. And until next time. Appreciate y'all watching, putting up with us. God bless you. See y'all.